Anything that has electricity going to it in Grand Central Terminal, I'm responsible for. Well, I've been here a long time and I've watched it change. I think the biggest thing is that people come and appreciate what it looks like. About 750,000 people come here a day. 200,000 are not commuters. And there's about 10,000 people a day that just come here to eat and use the bathrooms, obviously. The restrooms in Grand Central Terminal are the best in New York City. In the past, all the, the bathrooms had paper towels. They get thrown on the floor, they get thrown in the toilet, they get thrown in the garbage. People put them on the toilet seats, you know. I mean, we have seat covers, but they put them on the toilets. You know, it all gets flushed, the toilets get plugged, then they overflow and then we have to clean it up. So with hand dryers, we took all the paper towels out of all the public restrooms. More than anything, the maintenance and, and the cleanup and repairs has dramatically decreased. So we installed some Dyson hand dryers in, in our employee spaces. They'd stick something in them and it would trip out, and then we had to actually go reset it because it didn't automatically reset. So the you know, difference with the accelerators is we don't have to actually go do anything to it. We have a lot of other things to do in the terminal. We don't want to keep going in and taking hand dryers apart, getting complaints because the hand dryer doesn't work. There's less repair work, less maintenance done on it. So I can have my guys doing other things besides constantly fixing you know, a hand dryer. But honestly, Excel is so good with that is if, you know, if we can't clean it and make it work, we'll box it up and we'll send it back. Either Excel fixes it or it'll send us a new one. So you know, it really works out good. We have like the newest, latest, greatest version we just installed. They have sensors on them, so if you use them too long or it overheats, it'll shut it off and then it'll let it cool down and turn on. It has a new filter system in it that if it gets plugged or whatever, um, a sensor will go off and says it needs maintenance. So since we installed the new ones, I, it's probably over a year ago, uh, we haven't had to replace any of them. We're gonna stick with the accelerator ones.